The Manchester City midfielder was well fancied because of a stellar 2023-24 campaign that saw him win the Premier League for a fourth year in a row. Before playing a pivotal role in Spain's first European Championship triumph since 2012, but it still came as something of a shock given that Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr. had been the overwhelming favorite for months. When it emerged just hours before that the Brazilian most likely wasn't going to win, he and the club stunningly boycotted the ceremony altogether. That meant Carvalho, who finished fourth in the final standings behind Rodri, Vinicius, and Jude Bellingham, wasn't present either. But Rodri wanted to make sure the full back was acknowledged, having outstripped the three players who finished above him in major trophy triumphs in 2024. I want to remember Carvalho, who has suffered the same injury as me and deserves to be here just like me, Rodri told Move a Star Plus, referencing both players currently being sidelined with ACL tears. And to someone who will be here soon, Lomin Yamo, he added, Today is not a victory for me, it is for Spanish football. So many players who have not won it and have deserved it, like Andres Iniesta, Xavi, Iker Casillas, Sergio Busquets, like so many others, it is for Spanish football and for the figure of the midfielder. Rodri became the first player born in the 1990s to win the Ballon d'Or, a bizarre anomaly in the award's recent history given the overwhelming dominance by Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, as well as the first defensive midfielder to triumph. Occasional center backs and even a goalkeeper have received it before, but never a number six in an award almost always won by attacking players.